our own careers. What are your aspirations for Ortiz's future? I know you, you've mentioned you've come full circle. You're recently announced as a new board member of RTE and a, a lot of change at the board level and elsewhere. And I know it's, it's early days, but how would you like to influence the direction you know, for your tenure on the board? First of all, I should say, I think the, the people at a senior level in RTE are doing an enormous amount of work to turn the ship. I think all of them are very committed and very able. I think the strategy for RTE is clearly one that a lot of broadcasters transnationally are struggling with, which is how do we float a public service media organisation in the new technological communications world. I think RTE is on a very firm path now of focusing on the original remit of the organisation, which was that it is an independent body, it is a semi-state, it is not a state body. Very important to keep journalism and current affairs away from government. Very important that the journalists feel very free to report on anything and everything and know that they will be supported by the public media service. I think it's going to go online, quite obviously. It's going to be available transnationally in ways that it hasn't been heretofore. I think it remains an important aspect of Irish cultural life in that it is telling Irish news, current affairs and fictional stories and documentaries about Ireland to Irish people, whether those Irish people be here in Ireland or spread across the globe. And I think that is a duty and a responsibility for the state that we support a broadcaster in doing that. I don't really agree with um, Steve Bannon about very much. But one of the things I do agree with him on is the very pithy remark he made where he said, politics is downstream of culture. In other words, getting your hands on the levers of culture can lead to political transformation. And I think it's very important for us to recognise that danger and that risk and to make sure that we prioritise and support culture that is forward-looking, that is truthful, that reflects Irish people in all of our differences and all of our arguments and all of our joys and all of our concerns and that is not tendentious or politicised in that kind of way and I think that's why public service media really continues to matter in the 21st century and I think we need to find a way as a community as a as a society to support it in order to reflect and support our own cultural identity.